What is going on guys? Welcome to a chilly fall fishing day, almost a winter time fishing day on our favorite lake. We're out on the boat and folks, we are hunting big striper today. I'm out here today with me ancient and uh, the water is calm. Wait, wait, oh, there's something. There was the first sign of something right there. Not very big, but you can see guys, it's something that gave chase to something. And we are here today with Connor who is my neighbor, what's going on, Tom? Sorry. They're, they're hitting. Oh, yeah, they're hitting. They're, guys, we got schooling fish already. We got schooling fish, folks. We just got here. We just rolled up two seconds ago, and there's a big school right there. We've even got a heron fishing on the point. That's a good sign that there's bait in the water because he's fishing here, too. Oh, my goodness. The action is immediate. Folks, you couldn't plan this stuff even if we tried. All right, the school has abated, but that's what we want. We wanted a uh, big time striper activity, and uh, let's just let's get fishing. Um, so I'm gonna rig up Connor here. Now you've used a spinning rod before. Yeah. All right. This is called a rattle trap, and uh, it's called, they actually call it lipless crankbait, but everybody calls it a rattle trap. It has these rattles that go. Have you ever used one of these before? No, I don't think so. So they make a ton of noise in the water. All right, so you can hear it underwater. Oh, no, until it, it's all fouled up. When it's running right, all right, you can hear it. Yeah. And what, all you have to do is it's very heavy and it sinks. You're just gonna throw it out there, count to like three or so, let it sink down, and then you're just going to reel it in nice and steady, and that's all you have to do. Yeah. And it makes so much noise underwater, you don't, maybe give it a pop every once in a while, but you just have to give it a nice, steady, kind of slow reel and uh, it makes enough noise where it'll attract a lot of attention down there. So there you are, my friend. I'm gonna get rigged up. Guys, I just got a brand new setup. Check this out. A uh, Cashin ledge rod here, seven and a half feet, some 15 pound um, copolymer on there, and a loose super duty, a heavy duty um, uh, rod here. I got this just for striper fishing, my brand new striper fishing setup. I'm very excited for this one. And check it out, I got a brand new swim bait here, folks. Savage gear. So super excited about this thing. It is very realistic, maybe except for the tail there, but it needs that boot there so it can all actually swim. Oh yeah, guys. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, cast toward that corner right there. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, right in the middle. Okay, start reeling. Yep, start pulling quickly. Start pulling quickly. There you go, there you go. Will he get something? Will he get something? Oh, yeah, you had a bite. You had a bite, I think. Do you have some? Uh, I, I saw the tap. I think I saw the tap. Why don't you come up here? You got to jump in Oh, guys. Oh, yeah, look at it. Look at it. He just grabbed it. He gra I saw it. Yeah, pull him in. <laughs> nice. You right as you were pulling it up. Oh, nice, man. Cool. First fish of the day, folks. <laughs> There you go, man. I'm gonna grab my and just pinch that lower lip. And they should be uh, docile. Sweet, you guys. First catch of the day. Nice, man. Throw them back in. Sweet, man. There be many more to come. Excellent. Caught your first. Is that's probably your fi first schooling fish, huh? Where yeah. they see there are a whole bunch of them probably all around out here, just just schooling the shad up. And that's why you have a little shad a rattle trap on there. All right, my friends. So the way in uh, through, you got another one. <laughs> Crazy! I can't even get tied on here. Another largemouth. Sweet man. Nice. That is fantastic, guys. We just got so we got school and fish all over the place. Connor's hooked up again. Are they schooling? Big old boil. All right, guys, so this is the way a through line works. This is actually the first through line swim bait I've ever bought. So a striper swims along, he sees this thing, he grabs it. Well, instead of him having it in his mouth the whole time and tearing up the bait, the hook becomes detached from the swim bait. And the swim bait sh actually, like the striper will pull so hard, it'll shoot the trout up the line and away from the jaws of the striper. So this will get the initial bite, but then all you're left with is this hook inside the striper. And that way, that does two things. Number one, the striper doesn't, you have another one? <laughs> I'm just gonna, 
Another large mouth. Well, <laughs> dude, that's a fat one. Yeah. Look how fat that thing is. They're, look, they're porking up for the winter time. <laughs> Guys, look at the size of the bait. He's using just a little shad colored rattle trap. That is almost exactly the size of the shad that are in here right now. And uh, so that bait's definitely paying off already. Nice. There we go. Nice, man. Nice bass. A fat one. That is almost a keep. That would be 12 inches to keep. That is very close to 12 inches. In a tournament, we would have been... Oh, <laughs> yes. Sweet. Anyway, guys, as I was saying, there are two advantages. Number one, when a striper has this bait in its mouth, sometimes with a heavy bait, the fish is shaking its head and it has leverage. And that movement of the lure actually helps, uh, can help jiggle the hook free. So it doesn't have that. And then the other thing is, of course, it can't tear up your swim bait. So I'm really excited to tr give this thing a try for the first time. And just a, a trout like that, I just hope to catch oh a, gosh, a big one. one. You've got another one. <laughs> right, I'm just ignoring you and I'm gonna start fishing. <laughs> pretty tiny. I'm pretty tiny. Look, I got a backlash. Oh, wait, no, I fell off. Oh shoot, you got a, oh, you see how they're feeding out yeah. there? Yeah, that's, they're just all, it's chaos underwater right now. We just see a little bit of it. All right. Now we're cooking. Did you have one following it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> he left it down there, jigged it a couple times, and got him. Was that number five or six? Uh, five, I'm pretty sure. Cool. When we caught Striper yesterday, yeah. Connor, yeah, it was between 5.30 and 6. You got one? Nice. Another one, guys. Connor hooked up again. Ooh, is that a little bit better one, maybe? Dude, I think he might have a little bit better one. We'll see. We'll get him closer. You might have a keeper. Your first keeper of the day. I'm going to scoop him just in case. He's barely hooked. Oh, maybe not. Not quite. He just fought fierce. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little bit undersized, but still, we'll get a big one. We've seen them jump. We know they're out here. Mm-hmm. Just a matter of time. We'll stay a little bit far away, but... Oh, my God. Whoa. That, that was big. Oh. That's... I don't know <laughs> what that was. Couldn't tell the species, but it was... Look at him feeding. You got one. Yeah, I see you got one. You got doubles, all right. And look, guys, fish feeding right there. Connor has one, my dad has one. <laughs> nice. Another fat little large mouth there. And Connor has one. Yep, you got one, man. Another same size. <laughs> same size, small bass. But we did see a big striper over here, folks. So the, bat, the striper are among the bass. We just haven't hooked up on one yet. Oh, like that. Guys, did you see that? Whoa, that was the striper. That's the that's the striper. So so, <laughs> so it's just a matter, guys. We just got to keep casting. We just got to keep casting. What's the deal? I don't know what it was. Should I get us away? Oh, you got him? Yep, I got a fish. Oh, no, nice. It's not a oh, it's not a big one? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Man. <laughs> we were both ready for this. <laughs> I sure set the hook on him. You did, I? poor little feller. By golly, he wasn't He going probably anywhere. passed out, really. <laughs> you got one? You got one? You got one? Just, 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 yeah, just hold on. Yeah, just, just hold on. Just, yeah, just hold on. Yeah, just, yeah. just keep the line tight and just hold on. Here you go. Let's go chase Nice. Chase, you want to get the. Uh, oh, oh, get the oh, he just came out. Oh, oh no. no. Okay. Oh, here I'll retie for you. Guys, Connor had a big one on. Had a big one on. Dang it. I've reduced it just a little bit. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, you got him? Nice. A big one? Uh-huh. All right. I'll get the net if we need it. Might have to grab it, hopefully it's so big. All right, all right, folks, this is what we were hoping for, one of the things. Yeah, keep them out of those trees. Wow. 
still running with me. Okay. Here, you tell me what yeah, if you yeah, feel yeah. like let's chasing just, them down yeah, a little bit more. Let's just, let's just let Alrighty. Let's see if we can tire a little bit. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Guys, what I did is I changed out the hooks on uh, on my dad's jerk bait because last time we were out here in the members only video, he had a, a couple fish bend out the little hooks, so I put stronger ones on there. So hopefully that doesn't happen. You just let him play. You just let him. Oh, oh yeah, I see him. Oh, see him oh wow, yeah. Oh, Connor, you want to come up Connor, here? Look at this. See this one. See him under there? Holy cow! <laughs> <Everything's huge. laughs> All right. Get him? Oh yes! Yes! No, get him in. There we go. Yes. Nice job, pops. All right. Finally, guys. At like 6:30 oh, in the goodness. evening. Oh yeah. Wow. We kept casting wow. and casting. Wow. Nice striper. <laughs> oh, he's a good one. Oh. This might be, might be my personal best. <laughs> yes. Check that out. Nice job, Pops. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Very nice. Man, Connor, that's probably what I bit on yours, that one that just took off. Yep. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get one for you. Wow. One of these times. That is nice. All right. Do you want to wow. eat him? Oh, yeah. We got to eat him. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. All right, Excellent. gotta eat my personal best, right? Uh huh. Oh, guys, nice. believe it or not, as as good as that fish is, this is still just like a medium sized one for this lake. Right. Like they get twice as big as this. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Wow, so. wow. very All nice. Right. All yeah, right. ice. Let's get them on ice. Yeah. Yeah, that's whatever we want to do. Wow, barely fits in the hey, pool. Hey, we gotta take a picture of that. Oh uh, yeah. You know, guys, striper. They're one of those. They're one of those fish. It's kind of hard to fish for. Like when every time we come out here, we only expect to get about three or four bites when they're um, when they're blitzing like this. But they're so big that it's worth it. The payoff is so huge. Yes, yes. Well, guys, that was a good time. That was fun. Yes, yes. That was fun. My friends, it is the next day, and uh, Connor and I are going to start cooking here. I've already got him slicing up some potatoes, folks. We are going to do some fun stuff today. We're going to uh, fry up potatoes, fry up the striper, and then grill the striper. Um, we've got here our little grill. We already know that grilled striper tastes fantastic. So we're going to grill a little bit, but then I also want to try deep frying some on this side and we're going to deep fry some potatoes. And my mom already made some of her homemade tartar slaw. It's called, I'll show you guys that in a minute. So while Connor is cutting up the potatoes, I'm going to take these smaller strips of striper. So we have some nice, like, like, look at that guys. There's a big thick steak right there definitely going on the grill so we'll set that aside but then i have some little smaller pieces in here like that little chunk that will be fried so i'll set the big chunks right there and the little ones i'm just going to kind of separate these out and if it's like if they're thin like that i'm going to cut them up and they're going to make basically like little striper nuggets big beautiful chunks like that that is going to be grilled right there if you would just cut up those like cut that one in half cut yeah. that one in half all these chunks there. So you must have some experience in the kitchen because you just went to town on these. Like, yeah. <laughs> do you help in the kitchen quite a bit then, apparently? Yeah, sometimes when my mom isn't, like, she's running errands, I'll uh, slice the potatoes and cook some dinner. Oh, you'll cook. Oh, nice. All right, you know what you That's good. That is a good skill to have, man, especially at your age. How old are you? Uh, 11. 11? Oh man, that's really good. You know how to cook already. 11. Alright guys, so now Connor is going to, uh, since he said he has the cooking experience, I'm going to, that should be good right about there, yeah. He's going to soak the the striper nuggets. I'm going to invite you over more often just have you as my sous chef. <laughs> <laughs> and then for breading guys, I'm kind of debating whether to use a hush puppy mix or whether to just go for some like classic fish fry. I've had this hush puppy mix. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of... Are you a fan of spicy? Um, I can take a little bit of spice, but not a lot. You know what? Okay. You know, we will go with a tamer option today, folks. I will throw in just the 
just the smidginest of spices. But otherwise, we'll go with the good, just classic flavor here. All right, guys. So Connor is going to bread up the fish now. Now it's been soaking in buttermilk for about five or six minutes there. Just add a little bit, guys. This Cajun fish fry is so spicy. I, I never have used, well, I used it the first time just using that breading, and it was, I mean, you, could, you could put probably like a quarter of a cup or so in it, just for a kick. But guys, I actually breaded a bunch of fish in just in that, and it was so dang spicy, I could hardly eat the fish. So, so I'd give it just, just a little bit more, just for a little bit of spicy flavor. And then if you want to add a little bit of my first cast seasoning to it, just shake a bunch on there. I'll tell you when. This is this is real nice, folks, having a susha. Yeah, just shake it real hard. We're going to put quite a bit on there. That should be good right there. Excellent. I'm going to use some of my first cast seasoning here. Link in the description. It is just, it's phenomenal. I use it a lot. Even off camera, I use it on stuff. I use it on ribs and stuff the other day. And I just, I just absolutely love it. So I'm going to season these up here. As much as I like my seasoning, I don't think it has quite enough salt in it. And we did that on purpose because a lot of people don't like things as salty as I like it. So I have here just a smidge more salt and pepper we're just going to add just to like the top of those. Just like that. We'll flip them over and we'll get them all nice and coated with seasoning on both sides before we put the steaks on the grill. All right, my friend. So Connor, is that hot? Oh, that is definitely hot enough. Hear the sizzling. That is one of my favorite sounds right there. Beautiful. Just like a chef, man. This is nice. I'm just whenever I whenever I need uh, help cooking, I'm just gonna call you, man. Alright. <laughs> cool. Alright. Sweet. That is that is perfect. And I've got my fillets here, guys. I think the grill should be hot enough. Oh yeah, hear that sizzle. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Striper steaks. Coming in hot. All right, how's it looking, man? Oh yeah, golden. That's gold. That is freshwater gold right there. Excellent. All right, we just keep going till we have a nugget, a bowl of nuggets there. Sweet. Oh man, look at that, my friends. Look at that. Sweet, sweet. We are just about done here. Connor's got the nugget duty is going well. And I'm going to flip these. Oh, yeah, just a little bit of blackness on the edges there. It's not quite as hot on this part of the grill, but this part of the grill is absolutely perfect. Got some nice little grill marks there. Yeah. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, the fries. Um, we chopped these up nice and fine there so they would cook faster. In fact, let me grab this here and uh, I'll stir while you drop. Beautiful. That should be good for right now. Excellent. All right, my friends, the fries are coming out. We call this fish and chips in the States when you got fries and fish like that. Of course, the UK subscribers, I always get you guys correcting, correcting me. You guys call this fish and crisps, apparently. So, and then we guys, we have here some tartar slaw, which is a combination of coleslaw and tartar sauce. And so we have a nice rounded out meal here of fish, fries, and tartar sauce and tartar sauce and coleslaw all together. My mom made this. Thank you to her for doing that. This is her special recipe. All right, let's give this a taste test. So my dad has joined us for the tasting part. Thank you for uh, catching it, Pops. You're welcome. My um, pleasure. I think it's only fair that we cook it up. Uh, should we say a quick Absolutely. prayer before Let's we eat? Yeah. Dear Lord, thank you for this food. Thank you for the abundance of it to enjoy every day. I ask you to bless this food to our bodies. Through Jesus I pray. Amen. Amen. All, All right. right. Now, you had to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10. What are we trying? Are we trying anything first, or are we just? Right, let's, all try the, let's all try the fried. Okay, let's do that. The fried striper. Since we tried grilled, ketchup on your fish, dude. <laughs> I don't mind ketchup on my fish. Mm. I love that tartar sauce. Yeah, that's good. That right, is good. I'm gonna try it without. Mm. I have to say, as far as freshwater fish goes, striper. Do I say it's my favorite? Because it's been a long time since I've had walleye. You guys know that walleye are usually thought of as the king of taste. But 
Striper is second if it's not first, if it has an edged out wall walleye for me, personally. What do you think, Matt? Scale of one to ten, Connor. Um, of I'd other say fish that you've had. Oh, definitely ten. Definitely ten of other yeah. fish you've had. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent. I would I would give it a ten too, honestly. Mm -hmm. This is a ten, so easily a ten. I think for two reasons: the taste is amazing, but the other part is when you catch one because they're so big, you have steaks for days. Mm -hmm. right? And if you if you fillet them right. You don't have any bones in it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 10 out of 10 for sure for me. Sweet. I would say so too. And I love that tartar sauce. Mm, that but it's good. good by itself too. That's the cool yeah, thing. You can eat it by yourself. Guys, if you combine tartar sauce and coleslaw together, like just combine the recipes, then you can eat it by itself. It's, it's really good. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one.